Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be crocheting an infinity scarf. If you have never crocheted in your life, this is for you. It is so simple, it is so easy. It'll take you about two hours to finish, depending on how fast you go. And we're just gonna dive right in and let me show you guys what you need. You're going to need a size P hook. You're also going to need a hook smaller just to weave in the ends. This hook is a G hook and you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're also going to need yarn. You can use bulk yarn or you could use worsted yarn. I use worsted yarn just because I love how the pattern looks when you mix and match. So the yarns I have are Pretty in Pink by Red Heart Yarn and I also have Coffee Cream also by Red Heart Yarn. So just those five things and like I said a bit of patience and you'll be done in no time. This was my first crochet video. Crocheting on camera was a different experience but I think it came out good. If you need any help with anything leave me a comment below and like and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more guys. Alright, enjoy! Hey guys, so you can do this step before or after you make your scarf. I'm just going to go ahead and do it before. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make a little ball of yarn. And when I get it to about the size I need, I'll get back to you guys. So this is how big I have made my yarn. So we're just going to go ahead and put that to the side. It doesn't really matter what kind of yarn you have. These are just worsted yarn. And you are going to take them both together and just tie a normal knot. I'm going to go ahead and chain a few of them with you guys. You're going to get your yarn. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through the first one. Yarn over and pull through. That's all you're going to do guys and you're just going to keep doing that until you get your desired length. So yarn over and pull through. As you can see I'm holding it like I would hold a pencil, putting the thumb here, this one here, and then this like this and then yarning over and pulling through. Right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and keep going here. I usually count them, but since I am recording, I will just count them when I feel like I have done enough. So as you can see, you're getting this cool mixture pattern. So you're just yarning over and pulling through and you see how it's getting longer. All right, guys, so I just chained 95 of them and I can fit it pretty comfortably around my neck two times. So if it's a little tight for you and you want to go with that 95 is about where you want to go with that All right, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep going here with mine so this is about 95 right here all right guys I'm back again I have 120 and I can wrap it around my neck twice but it's a loose fitting twice so again just make sure you're measuring your neck and fitting what works for you so after you have your desired length you're going to go through and make sure it is not twisted at all so you're gonna just go ahead and take your hand all the way through it make sure it's not twisted in any of them Once you do that, you're going to take it and loop it this way, like this. So this tail is going to be at the bottom. And you're going to take your hook and you're going to put it at the bottom of the first one. So these two, you're putting it at the bottom. You're yarning over pulling through and you're going to pull through. So this is a slip stitch. Make sure we're not twisted here. Chain one. And you are going to go into the first stitch. You're going to yarn over. Go in. Pull up a loop and then 
yarn over and pull through all three of these. So this is a half double crochet and that is all you're going to be doing all throughout. Yarn over, go into the pink and brown down here. Make sure you get through both of them. Pull up a loop. Oh, forgot the pink one. Yarn over, go through, pull up both of them, yarn over, go through. Make sure you're individually going through each of the stitches. Alright guys, keep going all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end. Alright, and then the last one, yarn over, pull up loop, pull through all three. What you're gonna, gonna wanna do is in this one that you slip stitched, go ahead and slip stitch here, chain one, and then yarn over, go into it, all in that first one. Alrighty, after you do all of that in the first stitch, you're going to yarn over, and then in this top part, to go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through. And look at the color, guys. Doesn't this look amazing? So that is what you're going to do for row two. Yarn over, go in, Alright guys, keep going until you get your desired length. So just keep making rounds all the way around until you get what you want. I'm probably going to do about four rows of this. So after this one, I'll do two more and then I might do another one. So I'll see you guys back. I wanted to show you guys something. It looks like there's two stitches left, but there is just one. The other one is a slip stitch. So make sure you are not chaining or adding on to the slip stitch. So what you wanna gonna wanna do is find the hole, go in, grab up a loop, and then slip stitch it. So that way you are not adding to it. Chain one. And in that first one you just did, you're gonna add half double crochet so make sure for every one of them you aren't adding to the slip stitch it's very important and you just continue on hey guys so I'm back and I'm finishing up my fourth row if you wanted to keep this awesome pattern going with the two strands you would just keep going to your desired length this is four rows right here but i'm going to add what i call the border now and i'm going to put it with the brown if you remember early on in the video i separated some brown so we're going to use that brown now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off these two stitches slip stitch and then we're going to join the brown that I originally separated and we're going to cut off the pink. Now there's two stitches because this one is the slip stitch that we don't stitch into.
can I just fix it? Now after I slip stitch, I'm going to cut off the pink and then I'm going to leave the brown. When you cut off the pink, leave a bit of it so that you can weave it in. Cut off the pink and then I'm going to slip stitch just the pink one. Pull that down tight. And so now I'm just working with the brown. Okay guys, after you have finished slip stitching your pink, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab the beginning of the second yarn you're going to use. You're gonna take your hook out and right in this first loop, you're going to pull up a loop from this new yarn. You're gonna take it and you're gonna pull up a loop right through the hole. After you have the loop, you're gonna to wanna to go back into the yarn that was already attached first, and then you're gonna go through the loop that you have made. You're gonna to wanna to take all three of the loops, the tail and then the, the two that you're gonna be working with, and you're gonna do a chain. After you have your chain, you're going to drop the tail, yarn over, go into the stitch that you've been working in and do a half double crochet. And you're gonna yarn over and pull through all of these loops. And chain a little loose, guys. I have a tendency to chain tight but chain loose for this and then you're just gonna weave in this you can do it after or you can do it during how you do that is you yarn over make sure it's at the top go in and then loop through all six of those and then it's just normal this pink one will be done when you finish so just like normal you're yarning over going through the top and then pulling through and you have joined the brown. And so you can continue doing that. I'm just gonna do one around and then I'll show you how to do the bottom. Hey guys, so I'm coming up to the end and I'm just gonna finish the end with you guys so I can show you how to weave in the pink or the other yarn that you guys are doing. So once I notice that we're getting close to where I can start weaving in the other yarn, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. Hold it there and then get my hours down for that one. Okay, so I cut my yarn too early, but that is okay because I have enough to finish. Right before you finish, you're going to go in, slip stitch, slip stitch again, or chain one, pull, and then tie a knot. Knot. All right, and we are ready to go ahead and start the bottom. Okay, guys, we're going to be working on the last row. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab both ends of the border color you're using and find a spot near the stitches that you started with. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this spot right here. I'm going to insert my hook in the bottom two, so the pink and brown in this case. Just gonna go ahead and put my hook in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a loop with the two brown. I'm gonna go in there, and pull up a loop, and then I'm going to all four of them, tails and ends, I'm going to put a chain. And then I'm going to drop the tails, yarn over, and do a half double crochet in the loop that I just did. Very loosely, you're going to yarn over again and go and loop through all of these. 
after that you're just going to yarn over like normal and do half double crochets all the way to that spot wherever you start it from and you're just pulling up the two yarning over all right guys when you get to these spots you're going to do the half double crochets in these holes right here and then you're going to continue doing half double crochets in the next space right over here and then you're going to slip stitch like we did at the top and then you're done Okay, I have two more yarning over going into those top two doing my half double crochet and then I'm going to do a slip stitch right here in the chain one space so you're going to find that chain one space go over slip stitch and then do a another slip stitch and you're gonna go ahead and cut your yarn pull through you're gonna go ahead and tie your knots No, 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 no. and by doing the borders last you can add on to these so if you wanted to do a pink one next you could and it would be a lot easier so this is my infinity scarf guys so that's how it looks hey guys the last last step you guys want to do with your infinity scarf to get rid of these ends here what you can do is use a smaller size hook so this hook size is going to be a G and you're just going to take the hook and find little holes and pull these through until you get a few of them hidden and then you're going to want to just cut off the access so after you have done that then your scarf will look nice and flawless and you will be good to go I hope this video was fun and please do not forget to comment if you have any questions about the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.